just a little FYI for the swatches, I will be showing you Urban Decay Naked 3 Shadows on the top and the Reveal 2 Coastal Scent Shadows on the bottom. The first shadow I'm going to be showing you a dupe for is the color Strange from the Naked 3 palette, and here's the color for the Coastal Scents palette. Both of these shades are like peachy, creamy whites, if that makes sense, and Point Blake, the Urban Decay one, is just more pigmented. The next shadow is Dust from Urban Decay, and I found an exact dupe for this in the Coastal Scents palette. They are both kind of just light, really pretty, shimmery, um, dusty pinks, and when you blend them out, they're super sheer, but the Coastal Scents, I gotta give into it, is way more pigmented and bold. The next shadow is Burnout from Urban Decay, and I found a really good dupe for this also in the Coastal Scents palette. But the Coastal Scents shadow is so much more pigmented, it's so beautiful. They're kind of like, um, peachy, dark, rosy gold colors, if that makes sense. It's kind of a hard color to describe, but they're really pretty, and they both blend out beautifully. The next color is Limit from Urban Decay. I found a really good dupe for this one as well, but Limit is just a tiny, tiny bit more pigmented than the Coastal Scents shadow. The next color is Buzz from Urban Decay, and this is kind of like a dark rose gold, but the Reveal 2 shade is so much more pigmented, so much bolder, so much prettier. I give it to Coastal Scents with a shadow. The next color is Trick, and it's kind of like your light goldy color with some rosy undertones, and the Coastal Scents shadow is so much better. Coastal Scents it has always been on the bottom, and Urban Decay is on the top. Um, but yeah, the Coastal Scents one is just so much better, so much more pigmented. The next color is Nooner, which is my favorite color in the Naked 3 palette, and I found an awesome dupe for this, except it is just not as bold and not as beautiful, so Urban Decay definitely wins me over with this shadow. Next we have Liar from the Urban Decay palette, and here's a dupe for it in the Coastal Scents, but Coastal Scents is so much better. This is kind of like your bronzy rose gold, and these shadows are both so beautiful, but Coastal Scents is better. Then we have the two colors, Factory and Mugshot from the Naked 3 palette, which are the second and fourth colors that you see on my hand. The first and third colors are colors from the Coastal Scents palette that are kind of in a similar family, but I couldn't find exact dupes for those colors. And lastly, we have the last color in the Naked 3 palette, which is called Blackheart, and the dupe for it in the Coastal Scents palette. These colors both look like purpley in the pan, but really they're blacks with different colored specks um, of shimmer. Hey guys, so today, obviously, if you saw the beginning of this video, you know that I'm going to be comparing the Coastal Scents Revealed 2 palette and Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, like if they're dupes for each other or not. The Naked 3 palette, um, obviously, it's the high-end one. It is $54, I believe, um, and it's just, oh, the brush is missing. But it's just a really nice a rosy gold bronzy palette. And the Reveal 2 palette, um, supposedly it retails for $40, which is $14 less than Naked 3. But really, um, I've never known to be that much. Honestly, I think it's like, it's only like $17 on Amazon. And on the Coastal Sense website, it's not even that much. And this is also... Um, a really nice rose gold um, neutrally bronze palette. Today I decided to zoom out a little more. I thought it would be nice to have it open or maybe. I did the swatches and basically the shadow dupes at the beginning of this video because I thought that's what most people would want to see. These three brown ones that I did not have perfect dupes for. There were some similar shadows in the Coastal Scents Revealed 2 palette, but they weren't perfect. All the other shades there pretty much is. Obviously you can see there are some brownie, bronzy tones in here. They just aren't perfect matches for the other palette, but you're still getting some nice um, shades that are similar that are kind of in that bronzy brown family. I'm gonna be just telling you guys about the similarities, the differences, the pros and the cons, reviewing these palettes and kind of comparing them, basically. Starting off with packaging, I definitely love the Naked 3 palette packaging better. I mean, it's gorgeous when you look at it, like, gold and, oh, it's so pretty. The Real 2 palette, I mean, I feel like they kind of could have tried a little harder with their packaging. It's just cardboard, um, like, magnetic, 
and it's not a very strong hold either. It's just like a light brown kind of. Not a huge fan of the packaging. I am kind of like a packaging junkie. I love pretty packaging because it's prettier to display in your makeup collection and just looks nicer. So that is kind of a downside for me, but I don't really care as long as the product is really, really nice. I have to say overall, I do think the Reveal 2 palette is a little better just from looking at swatches and the way they apply to your eyes. When I feel like I use this one, I kind of have to build the colors up more and some of them don't apply like the really pretty shimmery ones that you wish would apply so beautifully some of them do but some of them are like patchy they're hard to build up even um and the with i find that with the reveal 2 palette they are so pigmented and they're creamier i love coastal sun shadows a lot of people say they're like iffy on them um but I love Coastal Scent Shadows. And it is unfortunate that I can't tell you the exact names of these shadows. They don't have shade names. And if they were in their like single shadow pan um, hot pot form, that's what their, their single shadows in the pan are called, I could tell you what the exact names are because some of their palettes are like that. They just come with a bunch of hot pots. The point of showing you the comparisons is that there are dupes for... Um, different shadows between the two palettes. So it's only $17 like I said on Amazon. I'll link this down below and if you want to splurge on the Naked 3 palette, it is a beautiful palette. Not to say that any of these shadows are bad in here per se, but some of the revealed two shadows are just better. I kind of like uh, what they did with the shades here, light to dark, and I kind of looking at these shades, I like them better because I don't really like the way that they did the revealed 2 palette. I feel like they kind of threw in some random um, uglier colors, like if it was just this, like how beautiful that would be. <laughs> Honestly, um, this first row is perfect. You're basically getting most of the colors in the Naked 3 palette in the Reveal 2 palette, plus like 10 more. Um, just just get this, if, you're really, if you've really been like, I need this one, like I don't know if I should get it, it is a lot of money, um, but... This is a really nice palette as well. I find their wares the same and everything like that. Um, they're both really nice palettes, but the Reveal 2, I just feel like it's a better deal. So that's what I have to say about that. Thumbs this video up if you want more review or dupe videos or anything like that. I am going to start reviewing a lot more products, I think. So definitely leave a comment down below on a product that you want me to review. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!